okay guys so we talked about how to determine if a signal was a good signal or a bad signal and if it's too late or not to get into that trade how to determine if it'll be a good trade or not uh, if i'm risking the right amount uh, compared to what the reward is going to be now i'm just going to show you guys real quick how i would actually enter that trade in mt4 just in case you guys need a visual representation of that so we've analyzed gj we've determined that the price is headed down creating lower lows breaking areas of support and as you can see here on the screen the new signal or the trade that i'm recommending is a sell on this pair the entry price was 131.40 which was about 40 pips ago at this point but as we looked at in the last video still a lot of opportunity about 10 pips to target profit to uh, four, about 49 50 pips away from target profit three so there is opportunity there and target profit one already being broken 131.20 we're going to use that as the new stop loss so instead of using the original stop loss which is 13165 we're going to use 131 that two zero our target profit is going to be target profit number three one three zero dot five oh and guys this is the target profit that i personally plotted so what i recommend you do if you're copying from a signal is go to the chart uh take a look at the target profit they've recommended and see why because that if it's a support or resistance area which it likely is that could be a zone for cash out you may want to take a pro a take profit that's a little bit closer to the entry price so a little bit more conservative rather than just grab the one they give you you'd be surprised how often the price could get even just 10 5 pips shy of that target profit and then turn around on you where you could have um, taken a more conservative goal to cash out or just uh cashed out yourself so we're going to use 130 50 because i plotted this right above a key area of support rather than using that uh exact line i plotted for support and of course this is market execution uh let's just say for instance i was going to wait let's say i wanted to wait all right so we're looking at the chart right here you can clearly see that this is the five minute chart so 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 about 40 minutes ago there was a low that was hot, lower than the current price which was 130.82 and if i'm gonna take a look a look at the low for today on gj it was 130.66 so if i wanted to wait for the low for today to be breached for the next breakthrough i would use uh so either way either one of these areas of support i wanted to aim for i would use a pending order instead of a market execution order so this means instead of instantly entering that trade as soon as i hit sell by market now it's going to ask me for entry price as well as my stop loss and take profit i'm going to enter a sell stop which means i'm waiting for the price to get lower and then i want to enter a sell if i was waiting for the price to get higher to enter my sell i would select sell limit but i'm going to select sell stop same thing for buying um limit and buy stop buy stop you want the price to go up and keep going by limit you want it to drop low to support and then go up and enter that that buy at support but we're going to enter a sell stop here because i wanted to use this low from 40 minutes ago which was 130.82 so let's just say i want to make my entry price 130.80 slightly below the low from 40 minutes ago get back in on this run once that low is triggered so i'm gonna set my entry price at 130.82 with no expiry if i wanted let's say if i wanted to um not leave this pending order for the rest of the day 
or until the let's say because i know is this a great example it's friday let's say i know i don't want to carry this position over the weekend i could set this to expire at today at 5 p.m or 4 55 p.m and then if the trade doesn't get entered it will be um it'll be deleted at 455 of course if it's entered that's not going to help me i don't think this automatically closes a trade that's already been executed but i'm not 100 percent sure about that so just make sure you check on that or experiment with that because i don't use expiration dates but entry price 130.82 this has been placed if your stop loss and target profit is in the wrong area of course you're going to get the red button or the the sound that implicates you've entered a poor trade so let's try to set our stop loss above the below the price for a sell let's just set it at 130. so now my stop loss is below the current price and my target profit is above at 133. this isn't gonna work because my stop loss and target profit is invalid so if you hear that sound it either means invalid stop loss and target profit maybe you had them flip-flopped or it was above when it should have been below or vice versa or you didn't have enough money to cover the lot size you were trying to trade with so hope this video was helpful you guys um looking for the price to drop and these positions to go into profit as well as this pending order to execute and get me some extra money and hopefully you guys will be doing the same but i will catch you on the next video appreciate your time today if you're new make sure you subscribe hit the bell notification for notifications so i am you are alerted every time i drop a new video